what's up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel this is going to be my makeup basket for the week of december december today is actually my sister's birthday so you would think i would automatically know what the day is but for the week of february the 25th so we are going to jump right in i did not do a makeup basket last week but i'm going to show you what i had in my makeup basket and then we'll see what i'm going to be using for this week so the first thing that um i had is like base products so i had the foundation the concealer and the powder from rms beauty i do really like these products this one um this foundation comes off a little bit on the warm side but I'm okay with that I actually think it's a little bit better for me in the summer but I'm okay with that um, the next thing was my highlighter and a good drugstore highlighter is the Milani Rosa Italiana baked highlighter and that looks like that I really like this highlighter and I did it again and you know what let's do this so I won't say that I never use this let's at least put a little bit of this blush on because what I have on now is a blush lighter from Beauty Bakery so let's just put a little bit of this on top of that just so I can say I got some use and what I'm talking about here is the Patrick Ta yeah so we're good i used it the patrick ta double take cream and powder blush and she's baked and it looks like that and we used the powder so i can say i used it i didn't use it in the week i said i was going to use it but it is on my cheeks now I'm looking a little bit blushy today um i also had in here the bronzer from phytosurgeons and this is the shade golden horizon and it looks like this sorry it's a little bit messy and i have a blush from mac this is the dolly mix sheer tone blush and it looks like this and i remember telling you in my um last monday morning makeup that that is no longer available and I also use the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydro Powder Blush in the shade Sangria. Really like that. And I am just going to jump into my eyeshadow palettes. So I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. This is really, this is a, um, I would say this is a strong palette like this is like you can pull this out every single day and use it and like what you come up with so i really enjoy using that um let's see <clears throat> in my monday morning makeup the last one i did i used the lethal cosmetics this is the wildflower palette yeah the wildflower palette and this is the one i created a very different valentine's day look with so that's the wildflower palette I have the um, unearthly cosmetics dead of night palette and it looks like this and I did not use this one I have used this one before but I did not use that one the week that I was supposed to um, we have the Milk Cosmetics. This is the Amore Emeriposis palette. And mine is getting very messy. But it looks like that. Very nice, very warm. I love this palette every time I use it. And then we have our cute little Notoriously more Morbid Mothman palette. And it looks like this also this one I did not get a chance to use I have used it but I didn't use it week before last um, so those are my 
eyeshadows. Let's put those to the side. And that was it for that week. This week, um, let's go ahead and jump in. This week is going to be mostly products from black owned brands. Probably, yeah, 99.99% .99 from black owned brands. And for my foundation this week, I will be using the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. And I have it in the shade 7. And I did use it for my Monday morning makeup. I have two powders from LYS. This one is the bronzer. And it is in the shade Strength or Dark. And when I put it on my skin, it felt a little red. So I might be looking a little bit red. And I also have their um, setting powder. And it is in the shade Independent or Tan. Uh, I have a blush palette. So this is what I was using um, in my Monday morning makeup. And it is a blush lighter palette. So these are very sort of glowy blushes. And this is the Cotton Candy Champagne palette from Beauty Bakery. And the shades look like that. So that is all that I have pulled out today for blushes. Although I do have some LYS blushes. I just pulled out that one thing. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, my lip products I will go ahead and share with you. So I have a lip gloss from Ace Beauté. And this is in the shade Spicy. I have two of the gloss bombs from Fenty and they are, well, this one is just like a regular gloss bomb and I think it's in the shade Riri. And this is one of her creams and it's in the shade Cupcaking. So I have both of those. I have two lipsticks from uh, Propa or Propa Beauty. So this is what the packaging looks like. And they are both sort of nude, but one is light and one is dark. So the lighter one, and it doesn't even look that light when you twist it up, but this is in the shade Finesse. And then this one is in the shade Closer. So this one is nice and dark. And it looks like that. And I have not used that one as of yet. And then the last lip product I have is from Pat McGrath. And this is one of her Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shines. And this is in Divine Rose 2. I know I have another one of these. And I think it's in my purse. So of course, I didn't pull it out. But this is what Divine Rose 2 looks like. So those are the lips and then we are going to get into the eyeshadow palettes and then we'll be done. So this is um, the eyeshadow palette that I use for my Monday morning makeup and this is the Pat McGrath Mothership 2 Sublime palette when she was having variety in her palettes and not a bunch of pinks and this one looks like this. And I have pulled out the Danessa Myricks Beauty Lightwork Volume 4 Transcendence Palette. And I am not reading the rest of the name, but it looks like this. And this is probably mostly going to be used for like accent pieces. Accent pieces, like accent shades. Because I can't see myself doing a whole face with this palette. This palette needs a companion. Um, also from Beauty Bakery, I have an eyeshadow palette and it is called Proof is in the Pudding and it looks like this and it is a very neutral palette, a little bit on the light side but a very neutral palette and I could not do this without pulling out my Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette. She looks like that. It's a really nice palette. I think like one of my favorite palettes from them. 
And then we are going to wrap this up with my last palette. And this is the Ace Beauté Smoky Rose palette. And it looks like this. So I think that is it, you all. That is going to be my makeup basket for the week. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.